So oh, what do we make? Loftus well, Cheek is in there too. Loftus yeah. Cheek, that's right. That <laughs> just got yeah. done as well. You put, you put Musa, swap Musa with Loftus Cheek. Yeah, that's what I first Loftus thing I'm doing. Loftus Cheek is a driving force, getting forward, making runs. Musa will be sitting. Yeah, he'll be put sitting. Put a seat right, I like that. And then Leo, yes, that's what you want. So there. Christian is 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 taking the Brahim Diaz role. That is That would be what they would expect of Christian. And, and I think he would be able to fulfill that role. Mm -hmm. I think in this team, Calabria sits more than Ateo Hernandez, who, who bombs up the left side. So, so they he'll have more back freedom. Back three. He'll have more freedom to play to the touchline. He doesn't have to come inside because he'll play to his stronger right foot. When he plays on the left wing, he comes inside to his right foot. Right. This he can just go down the line right. and, yeah. and serves cro serve crosses for Giroud or back post for Leao. I, I like Christian Pulisic in this role with this team. I think yeah. he'd fit in. I think and Loftus Cheek for Musa, you'd swap that around. Like I said, Loftus Cheek really is a talented player, and especially with the, the physical specimen he is, making late runs from midfield. If Leao's providing, if Pulisic is providing, he's a real goal threat. He's, uh, I think that would definitely work. That's a good Where player. is Yunus Musa most dangerous on this, it, on this field? We saw in the Nations League. Yeah. Filling in for Tyler Adams. Yeah. I think that was a big question mark. Can he be defensively sound and, and, and also keep the ball, build out of the back, and not take too many touches mm -hmm. as, a, as a six? He was phenomenal. He was mm -hmm. incredible. So I think he could play extremely well in that role next to Krunic. That's ben, a great pick. Ben Asser will come back, and it's probably going to take him a while coming back from a knee injury. So I expect if Yunus Musa does get the opportunity to go to Milan, it will be, I think he would ha really thrive. I'll give Yunus I'll Musa a little bit more credit also, just his ability to drive forward, mm -hmm. his ability to get in the attack, his ability to make those late runs, absolutely incredible. So you know it's going to be dangerous. The beauty of that as well is him going to Italian football. Italian football is very disciplined and very structured. The coaching and the style there would suit him perfectly well to learn the discipline aspect of playing in that centre midfield role, when to go, when not to go, positioning in the sense of how you help your team be more compact and winning the ball. It is a great league for the type of player that he is for him to go to and, and learn. Gattuso, Gattuso was, was his manager, say. right, at, at Valencia. Gattuso is the one who brought him from that wing position where he was previous to Gattuso to central. And he started to play better. He started to thrive. And, and that's kind of went hand in hand with him getting that opportunity with the U.S. Men's Ashe team centrally. So I, I, I love the fact that he would be going to Syria and, and set up with this Milan team, strengthens the team. If Christian is there as well, you have that bond. Yeah. Hey. Does he speak Italian? I know he speaks several languages. Is that, was, that, was that one of them? It will be now. I know. <laughs> he, he, he's, he listed the languages. He, he, he did, and I think there was about five on the list, and I can't remember if Italian was one of them. He is fluent in Italian. Is he? I remember because he was d talking with Nico. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They that's were speaking right. Italian back and yes. forth, and we were joking around that Nico said he could okay, speak Italian. Okay, so this seems to be uh, a good It's a, good a win win. I, so, I have high expectations for, for Musa. I'm a big fan of him. I really am. Yeah. I really think he's underrated, and I think potential, the potential is there. England level. Like yeah, Arsenal. Do you see Crimea River? Hail do you, in, baby. Do you foresee both Pulisic and Musa then being starters? Absolutely. On this team, yes. like, like without a, yes. it's without a, rebuild. a doubt. It's a rebuild. It's a rebuild. They're going a young. Oh, they're, going, they're going young in the sense. This team you go competes that. for Champions League. I don't know, but this it's a rebuild. rebuild. They're going they're young. The Champions League. There's a yeah. rebuild here. Rafael Leao, Giroud. Giroud's the only player. You Giroud say is the only up there. You need, a, you, need, agent, you, yes. you need you need someone to back okay, up. Okay, but, but everything else is, is there. Musa, Pilisic, Loftus Cheek, Rafael Leao. That's a very young core. That's what I'm saying. It's a bit of a it's rebuild a in a sense. Though, of it's not a rebuild. There. It's a slight rebuild. Come on, man. It's not There's no rebuild. Oh, yeah, the only player that you need to 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 find a replacement for is Brahim Diaz, who's playing in that right wing spot. He goes back to Madrid, so that's why you bring in a Christian Pulisic. You need to bring in someone for um, Giroud as well. You need to bring in a, a bit of a young, fresh striker. Really agree with AC Milan. Why, why did, oh, so, so Paolo Maldini left as well, right? Uh, AC Milan legend left his role directly. Which is a big there was loss. a degree of differences there in the sense of that. Huge loss. Yeah, it's a bit of a rebuild. Do you, I think Maldini where does this, to... if that is the uh, projected starting 11, where does this AC Milan team finish? Next year, they'll be in the top four. That's it's top Champions four. League easily. I don't know. Competing for the title, we'll see how the how well they're they going to win play. the league title. They got two Americans in there. That's they're not bad win. for <laughs> a rebuild. <laughs> they're they're for a it. rebuild. That's not bad. No, they'll be Conference League champions. You I know? like how you start. I, I beg that your right pardon. What you say? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Well played, Nigel. <laughs>